Hello students, welcome to Daily English Homework. In this video, we are going to talk about the conjunction unless. It is a confusing word to some students, but I know uh, my excellent teaching in this video will help you understand, uh, understand the word and know when to use the word. So, of course, we always have homework, so let's look at the homework. Uh, after you watch this video, you got to write five sentences using unless. That's the homework. This homework is open to anyone watching this video right now. It is free. It is time for you to practice your English on this channel. Uh, post your homework in the comments section below this video. I will check it. Uh, again, that's free. That's open to everyone. There's no excuse. If you're watching me right now, watch this video. Do the homework to improve your English. All right, let's get into the lesson. Unless the definition, what is the meaning? All right, so unless is a conjunction that introduces a condition or exception. Now, conjunction uh, is conjunction words are like and, but, because they are connecting uh, two clauses of a sentence. What is a clause? Two, two pieces of information or two ideas. We got to connect them in a one sentence. That is the role of a conjunction. Uh, and it introduces a condition or an exception. I'll explain that a little more as we go on. Uh, let's look at the next part here. It is used to express specific conditions that must be met for something to happen or not happen. Okay, what does that mean? So something how can i simplify this something must happen this condition must happen before something else happens okay so first we got to do this before i do this okay something like that and unless is often used to express a negative condition or exception you're going to see a lot of negatives here uh, most of the time so let's get into it uh, let's look at the negative conditions here. So my first example sentence, okay, we're getting to the example sentences and the example sentences should help you understand a little bit better. Now, visually, we can see unless is in the middle of the sentence. It doesn't always have to be in the middle. It can, it can be at the beginning of the sentence. I'll show you that later, but we can see it in the middle here. It's it's, it's, it's a conjunction, right? It's going to go in the middle to connect the two clauses. So the first part says, I won't go. Okay, I won't go. That's my decision. I won't go. That's my rule. That's what I decided. I won't go. Uh, unless you invite me. All right, so there is a condition. Uh, I'm not going to do something unless this other thing happens. So the other thing that must happen is you invite me. So I won't go unless you invite me is similar to I will go if you invite me. Now, I don't want you to think of unless as the opposite of if. Uh, I don't want you to think of, of opposites here. I just wrote that so you understand the first sentence, uh, what's happening. But as we go on, uh, I'm not going to talk about the opposites. Uh, you should just get a sense of how and when to use unless. So I won't go unless you invite me. Uh, I will go if you invite me. All right. Let's look at the next uh, sentence here. We're beginning this uh, sentence with unless. Unless you finish your homework, you cannot play video games. Now, when we when we start the uh, sentence with a conjunction we're going to have a comma and you can see the comma here and if you noticed before there is no comma before or after unless you don't need the comma so in the homework if i see commas i know you didn't watch the video uh and at the beginning if you're using it at the beginning so you're going to need a comma you're starting with this clause you need a comma so let's take a look at the sentence. Unless you finish your homework, you cannot play video games. Okay, so first you have to finish your homework and then you can play video games. You cannot play 
uh, video games unless you meet the condition of finishing your homework. Let's move on. She won't be able to travel unless she saves enough money. So the condition she has to uh, have success with or meet, she has to save money. That's first. Then she can travel. So she won't be able to travel unless she saves enough money. Here we, we're going to start with unless again, unless it, start, unless it stops raining, comma, we won't be able to go for a walk. Okay, so we want to walk, but first condition that has to be met is it stops raining, then we can do it. Okay, so this has to, this has to happen first before we can do this, unless it stops raining. Okay, let's look at exceptions. Uh... Exceptions is another way to use unless. So you're going to make a general statement and then you're going to talk about an exception to that statement uh, and that we're going to use unless. So for the first example sentence there, it says, I will eat anything. Okay, now that is a very general, powerful statement. I will eat anything. Now the word anything means anything, everything. I will eat anything, but there's an exception, unless it has mushrooms. Okay, that is the exception. I will eat anything. And I could use the word except here. So I'm going to change it. I could say, I will eat anything except food that has mushrooms. We can use the word except, but here we want to use unless. I will eat anything unless it has mushrooms. And again, I don't want you to think of this as the opposite, but the meaning, I won't eat something if it has mushrooms, uh, using the if. Okay, let's look at another exception. He'll work on Sundays. So this can mean every Sunday. He'll work on Sundays, unless it's a holiday. So if it's a holiday, he won't work. He'll work on Sundays, unless it's a holiday. And another one, I'll go anywhere. So again, a general statement, very powerful, anywhere. I'll go anywhere. What is the exception? Uh, unless it's too crowded. I'll go anywhere, unless it's too crowded. Again, we could say, I'll go anywhere except crowded places. Uh, but here, we're practicing unless. I'll go anywhere unless it's too crowded. Okay. That is unless. So uh, just to review, uh, you have to meet one condition before another condition happens. So I won't go unless you invite me. So I won't go because first condition is you have to invite me, then I'll go. Um, and then the exceptions, I will eat anything unless it has mushrooms. All right, so those are the two ways we can use unless. Uh, so your homework, write five sentences using unless. So try to use different ways. Uh, try to use unless in the middle of a sentence. Try to use unless at the beginning of a sentence. And mistakes are okay. Uh, we're here to learn, you know. Uh, I, I'd like to think my lesson was perfect but I know it, it's, it can be a confusing word. All I need you to do is try and we'll get better. All right, thanks for watching everyone and I'm eager to see your homework. Good luck.